All right, uh, it is Monday, June 22nd, uh, first day after taking uh, methotrexate. I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I know I said I wasn't going to do these, uh, uh, you know, step-by-step medical updates, but I feel like it's pretty important um, at certain times, like right now, where I am testing out a new treatment in a way that uh, probably nobody else has really done before. Um, at least with a condition that nobody else has uh, has um, to this extent. So, um, just want to make sure that at least I get the first couple of a uh, couple of days down. Um, so feeling pretty good in that respect, but as you can see, my face is uh, still kind of messed up. I've been having a lot of these um, blister zits. Not just on my face, but you see all these like red spots like right here. There's even some on my forehead. Um, <clears throat> there's one on my cheek and actually some inside my mouth. Um, and it's all over my body, all over my back. But I don't think this is this has anything to do with uh, methotrexate because I've had this um, probably for almost a week now. Um, and it's not getting any better. Uh, but it's also been really, really, really hot and a bit humid. So I think, uh, that's probably the main cause. Like I am sweating a bit, which is good that now I have some sweat glands, but, um, doesn't seem like it's getting it all out. So it seems like all the, the dirty stuff that's supposed to come out of my, my, uh, sweat glands and pores, it's, they're just piling up under the skin and just like becoming these nasty little blisters that, uh, can't go anywhere and just um, just wants to explode. Um, other than that, um, oh, <clears throat> so about taking a new medication and trying something like methotrexate with cyclosporin uh, for allergies and eczema, um, asthma, uh, which is a you know, pretty uncommon thing to do. Um, Am I scared? I guess I didn't really talk about like how I'm feeling emotionally. And um, actually, I'm not. And even though uh, some people have mentioned like a lot of bad things or not methotrexate not being the most, uh, uh, doesn't make you feel the best. Let's put it that way. Um, and given that, you know, last time I tried something other than cyclosporin, when I tried to get off cyclosporin like two, three years ago, um, I went on Celsept and Zoli at the same time. And if some of you might remember that, I got really destroyed. Uh, <clears throat> destroyed to the point where I couldn't even like concentrate to lift a finger. Like if you think that just moving around and like, you know, getting up, that's... Um, that's natural and there's nothing to be thankful for if you can't get up or even like move a finger uh, to try being on certain drugs or having some kind of uh, health issue where you can't um, can't even do that like it takes a lot of concentration for me at the time just to move a finger so um, you know much less like get up and I mean like I was aware of like how messed up this was it might have been better if I just wasn't aware that I couldn't control anything or that I'm like plastered to the ground and, you know, the world was spinning and I couldn't really tell like which part of my body connected to which part. Um, but that happened that time I tried to get off cyclosporin and onto something else. So, you know, who's to say that that won't happen again this time with mesotrexate or something else that's worse. But for some reason, I'm not, I'm not too worried about it, I guess just been through so many punches in the face, kind of a a bad way to put it, but um, been through so many situations where that um, even if it's something that I haven't had happen to me before, like the ways to deal with and react to something unknown and horrible, like I already know how to do that. And, um, and it's also in the back of my mind, like at least cyclosporin still works. So there's always that safety net, hopefully, that I can go back to. But then maybe not. I don't know. Um, it might be.
be the case that if uh, you know, going off the psych this morning and coming back on after methotrexate, maybe methotrexate screws up my body somehow, so psych this morning won't work the same way it's working now, and I'm just screwed and have to try something else other than all the ones that I've tried. And um, But I guess, like, I'm just really ready to move on and try something else. I mean, you know, there would be times when, I guess, like, in a different situation, I might be more worried, but, um, you know, I just feel like I've been waiting a long time to just try and do something else because, you know, just being, um, I don't like to not go anywhere. I like to, I feel like I'm improving or at least like trying something and having options. So, um, that's kind of how I'm feeling right now. Um, yeah, not too bad. And until, that until something happens, I'm just going to keep uh, plugging along. Like uh, on my favorite show, uh, Stargate SG-1, uh, Colonel Jack O'Neill, which is played by uh, Richard Dean Anderson, the former MacGyver, uh, he always had this saying where we'll jump off the bridge when we get to it, you know, so, you know, when we get to it, you'll figure it out. Um, you just, you know, already assuming the worst when you get there, but um I guess that's kind of how I feel, and um, also, I guess another quote that I thought about the last couple of days before trying this medication is um, from Star Trek Into Darkness, uh, the new movie, a new series by J.J. J. Abrams, um, you know, Captain Kirk said, you know, I don't know what I'm supposed to do, I just know what I can do, so that's what I'm doing now. Um, it might not be the best and like I can worry all day and worry all out. Um, but that's not going to do anything. I just have to do it and try it to find out. Like I said a couple of videos ago, sometimes you just have to try it. Um, you know, you have to do the test. I mean, otherwise you don't know because nobody else has done the test for me. Nobody else knows what's going to happen and nobody has any other better options at, at this time. And you have to, um, keep creating options. So, um, if there are no roads that are that already exist, then you just got to start and ham, um, you know, start digging or start hammering out your own road and and see what happens. So um, that's how I'm feeling for now. And as things improve or things get worse, I'll obviously feel different. And I'll make a video then. Thanks for all the support. I appreciate all the all the prayers and the you know and the messages and the support and you know telling me. Uh, your experiences about methotrexate and things like that.